Maybe what about that first time you met? Was that like always stand out in your mind, or you don't really think about it? No, oh, because he's a lady. He doesn't change the story and make it his <laughs> own story over the years. No, what story. stands out is he always tells his version, which is, is not truth. Yeah. No, talking about I robbed a cradle. Like he. You're stalking. I asked him to dance. That's, That's a stalker. What was saying? In a club where there was probably ten people. If that, and most of them were working, and one of them being his brother that was DJing, I asked him to dance. And and we were probably the only two on the floor. Maybe there was one other couple on the floor, but I'm stalking. One way I saw. But honestly, you liked it. Yeah, he didn't say no. <laughs> and then who was stalking who? Because like then then what? Not even two or three yeah. hours into our conversation, I want you to have my children. Yeah. I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't even know you. I ain't having no kids. <laughs> That's what I was saying back then. Did he tell you he put me out the car? Yo, she's running him out, man. She, she, she's allowed to talk, but she was like in another level, man. Like, And he put me out. We weren't even close to home. <laughs> and I had to walk all the way back to You made her walk? You didn't even come back to her? No. Her? I was like, yo, she was basically signifying, man. Like, and she was talking, too. You should have heard her, yo. You can't tell me what to say. You can't tell me not to hold my mouth. I got a right to speak on and stuff like that. And that's wrong. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I got a little salty, so I was like, yeah, get You out. did. His ego feelings got hurt. I said, get out. Y'all was, get out. I don't care. I got out. That was early when you guys were dating in Iowa? Mm, that was early. Early, I said, early days. The working out days. Out. <laughs> not. Well, what about those first five years of marriage with no kids? Do you think you benefited a lot from that? Like yeah. finding your vibe? That's perfect. And, that was perfect. That was perfect time. Uh, it was the greatest time of my life, man. Oh, wow. The greatest time? I'm being honest with you. <laughs> just us. Hey, man, it was just us, man. Should we sit up there, man, some days, some nights? That was it. We played, danced we a lot. We did everything. We, we went out. We went to concerts. We oh, you all were out, out, doing our uh, thing. Yeah, On oh, Tuesday night, Wednesday yeah, night, man. Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday <laughs> night. We partied. We went, Dude. I'm telling you, we go to concerts. We saw different groups. So we see um, the Gap Band. We Al Jarreau. Mm, we were out. We just enjoyed, enjoyed. the freedom. Yeah, we, we enjoyed ourselves. And we went problem. to games. We went to basketball games. We, we went to football days, games. Man. We went to go see Tony and them play. Oh, we go down to see Mom. Yeah, we, we, yeah. We, we were all we were free to go wherever. Yeah. We You have a kid? This is happening. Once I realized I was pregnant, I'm like, I'm out. Jesus. I, like, I want to raise what? my children where a family is. Okay. And the only one they told us about was Toby. She said she'll either be a, a wonderful ballerina or a great football kicker. Something like that. Ooh. Yeah. Wouldn't tell us what she was. We had no idea. The, she was cool. A great soccer player. Soccer player, well, soccer player yeah. She was cool. like, she could have been a great ballerina, cause the thing but she about it was, it was like, because when Toby was, I, I could be wrong, but I thought in the ultrasound, it seemed like her thumb was. Toby know. was sucking her thumb. Yeah, <laughs> she we was like, and we knew that part, <laughs> but that didn't tell us whether it was a girl. Girl, boy, yeah. but we couldn't believe it was she like was sucking her thumb. She sure enough. She, she, I, I still like, got that somewhere around here. I was looking. I was like, yeah, she got her thumb in her mouth. I was like. She, she didn't say she. She just you know said I'm saying? Yeah. baby has a thumb. The thumb was <laughs> like... <laughs> you got to remember that, that the, your your incident, man, was like... Mm. like a, It was like a halfway blessing at the same time we were going through. Um, 
that whole day was like, because I was in Philly before you got there, and I came over, and then you was coming, I guess, the 11 11 time. Mm -hmm. But when I got there, then it was like, I'm about to kill a doctor <laughs> and a nurse. Right? Your mom upset because she can't hold you. And it's like, what's going on? And this dude can't explain, or well, he's trying to explain, you know, we should do things right away. And I'm like, oh, you're gonna do this right away. But I'm just saying, well, we know her chance if we wait long. I was like, no, we're gonna do this thing now. And then, so I'm flying down to Cam. And like I said, I left your mom. And now I'm on that, that road where you, uh, the, 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 the left-hand lane flying down to Cam and through all the stops like. Because oh, you're in the ambulance. Oh, you're, you're following the ambulance? I'm following it. I'm, fo I'm like this far behind the car. She said, nope. They, they kept me in two extra days. I was supposed to get out in seven days. They yeah. kept me two extra days because they said, we know if we, we let you go, you're going to go right to, are you dang on right? <laughs> but Mick was a little bit, like I said, Mick was the, again, he is still, if you look at Mick Neal today, he's the same as he was when he was one day old. No change. No chance, man. This is laid back. Same way when it came out, man. And I lost my mind. How come? Because it was a boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I believe said, it. Oh, stay with me, man. Just to make sure they tie my tube. Because I can't do this no more. Yeah. Oh, you got your tubes tied? Yeah. And oh, that's why him, we didn't have no other siblings. And when like, they pulled him out and they said it was a boy, I said, thank God, now tie my hands, burn them, or whatever you got to do. She did. She I'm on the table. Sure did. Yes, burn. she did, man. So I was supposed to stay there make sure they did. And they pulled Mickey out and went down. He ran down the hall behind Mickey. Holding I'm the like, nurse. Oh. Make sure the nurse didn't drop him. I was, yo, I know it looked kind of like, but everybody was like. I'm looking at him go, and I'm like, God, heck. Thank you for staying here with me. Oh. <laughs> I was, I was like, yo, if this lady got this. said, my son is born. <laughs> and I was like, this is good. And he had a whole new kind of love. He had already had love for you guys, you two. But, I mean, that son, woo, he was done. There was no more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Toby's the. F love child. Oh, yeah. I'm the miracle. He's the, the promise. Miracle. He definitely is the promise. He the promise, man. <laughs>hit your stride like as a couple I would always say that pretty much right before I got saved because your mom had made that transformation but I was still 10 <laughs> <laughs> I was still 10 I mean to me, <clears throat> to me we always had somewhat of a stride because we never either one of us never relaxed our right our yeah, one of our agreements was never come between y'all like mm -hmm. always take care of y'all always were first so we actually we like, never relaxed our parenting issues we were always on one accord with that yeah it was our own personal issues yeah, that we were growing and changing like we've yeah. come up together we've got to this stage 16. Yeah, we spent more time together than we, we spent before we had, I'm 40 saying, years we versus like 22 20, 20 right so. we met each other at 20 yep we've been together longer than we've known anything or anybody mm -hmm. shout out mothers mm -hmm. But, but it's a joy like I don't find it you know how people say stuff like oh how you can be married to one person for like he's, he's my friend like being married to him is it's just part of it but we experience we just have fun even if we even if we sitting in the room they saying nothing like yeah. he could be doing his thing on his iPad and I might be playing the game and the TV just going but we still 
enjoy one another's company enough that we we can be in a room together and not have to be yeah. like yeah. talking constantly. Then we will we'll stop and talk mm-hmm. and then finish up and like that's kind of crazy. And then he's always doing something crazy and make me laugh. So sometimes man, we have some of the greatest laughs, man. Yeah. Like, where we in it, we just cry. Just us two will be like something funny and we'll start talking or and we'll just laugh and keep right on laughing and laugh out the door, laugh in the car. <laughs> and then we'll be laughing all the way and then we'll get back from work. We'd be laughing like about the same thing, man. Just be laughing because it was just so funny. It'd be just something between us two. Mm-hmm. So we've had, I'm going to say, kajillion moments like that where like we would sit up in the bed sometime and we'd be talking about y'all. And then we start laughing. Well, that's not nice. We not start laughing. Just, just laughing, laughing man. Like some of the stuff we do. What do you think about the last five years of so uh, these past five years Ooh. leading up to forty? Big four zero. A lot of things happened because your dad got sick. And... Dad got sick. That was huge. Because I didn't expect that. So why would you expect it? Right, right, right. Had to lay down a little bit. Had to deal with Mickey getting him back in. And then McNeil is McNeil is Me moving back. Your yeah. issue. Toby's the Toby Toby divorced. Yeah. Logan being born. Mm-hmm. Now Mickey in a relationship, and now we got me and Marco. <laughs>
that I probably wouldn't have got here if it wasn't for me. So you're welcome. Congratulations, Terry and Toby, on your 40th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. We love you. Hi. First, I'm honored to be able to appear in this video to wish you guys a happy anniversary. 40 years is something else. So I want to thank God for putting you two together 40 years ago uh, because if he had not, then I wouldn't know you both. And you're more than friends to me. You are my wise counselors, my own personal wise counselors. You are my brother and sister in Christ. You are family, the family that I got to choose. And I love you both. I'm wearing a shirt from uh, one of our trips together. Hopefully we'll be able to take many more. And I love you guys and happy anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Peace, love, and blessings. Keep it rolling. Love you both. Hi, right, Terry. I'm too. What's going on? How y'all doing? Just want to send this video to let y'all know that I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. appreciate everything you've ever done for me and everything you're still doing for me. Um, just want to say happy anniversary to both of y'all. It's number 40. You know, one of these days, I'll be blessed to see even three, four, five of those years. 40 years is a blessing. 40 years, you know what I'm saying? That's a lifetime. <laughs> but, um, happy anniversary. Love both of y'all. God bless. <laughs> hey, just wanting to say happy anniversary to my second parents. I love you. Congratulations. And here's to 40 more. Mwah. Just a quick one to wish you a happy anniversary from across the pond. I hope you both have a wonderful day, um, even in these times. Just want to say that I'll forever be grateful for how you've accepted me into your kind of extended family. It just shows what big hearts you've got. Much love. Uh, so I'm extremely late with my video, but I wanted to say happy anniversary and I love you guys and um, many more and I appreciate you guys uh, loving me so much and having enough love to still love yourselves. So uh, happy anniversary. years of your life uh, together will you bless like they have been prior. I love you guys so much. Happy 40th from your mom. Mommy, you're putting in your time. God says the measure you give shall be given back to you, but he doesn't say Press where that. it's going to come from. Press he that. just tells you that you give and it comes back. Sure. You give and Press it comes back. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh, they're good. Forty years. That's a blessing. Cause um, I remember mom and dad had the fiftieth year anniversary down down Riverside the to town hall at the far house. Yeah, that was really nice. They had fifty years anniversary. That's when Norman came home from the service and he paid for the whole thing, which was nice. And they were, you should have seen them dancing. They didn't want to dance. Mom didn't want to dance with anybody. <laughs> you know, it was funny. It was nice. Must have been so cool. Yeah. 50 they, they, So they made it. So they made it like, a, it was like tearing him. I guess she's following him. <laughs> but I think that's wonderful. That's a blessing. It's good to have somebody in your life. 